So recently I came across an interview of a woman who is arguing why we should ban clapping. Yep, you heard me right. Clapping, the sound that one makes with their hands in order to appreciate someone. You'd think that maybe this is some clever Monty Python sketch, but it's not. It's real. It's very real. Look at this woman. Short purple hair and just talking about inclusivity. So if some theatres or some universities say, actually, we're going to be more inclusive. <laughs> but what is so upsetting about clapping? What is upsetting, genuinely, about clapping? So it's actually not just for people with anxiety, it's also people who use hearing aids, clapping can be disruptive to that. People who have sensory processing issues, it can be very distressing and overwhelming to have those loud, sudden noises. Yep, that's right. Now, just think about it. What is the percentage of people who get anxious because of clapping? If I give it 1%, that would be me being so 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 lenient in the real world i would give it like a 0.01 percent so why should 99.9 percent of the people stop clapping why should we neglect something that is deeply rooted in our culture and not neglect a very 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 tiny minority but it is part of our culture isn't it to clap if you go to the theater or you go to a lecture or you go to a performance or you go to a gig you would expect that people would clap yeah absolutely and that could be preventing people from going to those events yep because inclusivity okay so what is the big thing that would replace clapping because we need some way to express our appreciation so if some theaters or some universities say actually we're gonna be more inclusive and do jazz hands instead that'd be lovely oh, more people could okay. get involved and then yep jazz hands <sighs> because after watching a concert or watching a really good play jazz hands can truly express appreciation. So the matter is, as you said, you know, perhaps at university people might be okay with that, but they have to go into the real world at some point, don't they? Yeah, and the real world could change. Maybe we'll become more inclusive, which would be a great thing. I don't think it's a bad thing to be over-accommodating. I think that's lovely. That's something really nice about millennials. But, but it, uh, how about no? Yeah, just no. And if you're talking about inclusivity, what about blind people? It's inclusive to deaf people and we can do a lot of other things to make it more inclusive to visually impaired people. And how would you do that? I don't know yet, but that's something that I think we should be having a conversation but about. Isn't this Why are we even having this conversation? Why should we ban clapping for a very small minority? Banning everything just for a small proportion of people and blaming them. I think that's definitely possible, but we shouldn't kind of meet the expectations of those judgmental people. There's a lot of anger towards people with allergies as well, say on planes, if you're not allowed to have nuts. Clapping is totally normal. Yeah, but having nuts on a plane is not sort of part of our cultural heritage. Clapping in a gig and in a theatre is just a totally normal thing to do. It's totally normal, but that doesn't mean it can't change. But the- what are you on about? This culture that we have, is a product of many years of evolution where uh, things like clapping are selective and appropriate. How smug of you to think that these things are best for everyone. Who are you? Well, the bottom line is that we cannot accommodate everyone. It's absurd to think that there could be a way to accommodate every single person but here's the thing this is not that alarming because honestly it's a really really small minority of people who want to overcorrect things but here's a question for you how did this culture of overcorrection originate and i would say you can pretty much blame it on the universities all these ideas are ingrained in the heads of people because of a university because academics they live in a bubble and they want to continue living in this bubble and 
continue inviting more and more people in this bubble but who am i to say anything i'm just a dumb guy on the internet making videos and i don't even have a catchphrase bye